school are you from? I'm from uh, Gross High School. Which team? Hey. Um, what's hey. your mom, guys? Hey. Team hey. A. Um, my, my presentation is entitled... Physics of superheroes. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to uh, talk about the physics that are behind the uh, superheroes we all come to know and love. But um, so, what uh, what is a superhero? That's the first question. A superhero. The name itself would kind of lead you to believe a superhero was a hero. <laughs> Obviously. Probably superior to most other heroes. The highest hero there is. Superheroes do some pretty amazing things. They jump over buildings. They throw things that are incredibly heavy. Incredibly heavy. Cars, for example. Um, they can fly. Some of them can. Some of them can shoot webs, even. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but uh, how much of this is really possible? That's what we have to ask ourselves. <laughs> and the answer is none, of course. <laughs> Everyone knows that because uh, it's preposterous that a man would lift a car and throw it. And we know that because of physics. That's why we know that. If I could get a volunteer from the crowd. Um, you back there in the blue sweatshirt. Don. What's your name? Nathan. Nice to meet you. That's my name too. Nathan Physics. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what do you think about superheroes? Superheroes are they're all right. They're all right. Is that it? Is that all I think? They're great. They're just all right. They're pretty. Super. What do you think? What do you think about? Um, Superman, when he gets shot with a bullet and just bounces off of him. I don't think it could happen. You don't think that could happen? No. Oh, why not? Physics. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Alright. Thank you all. You've been very great. <laughs> I understand that I'm going to be uh, drilled a little bit by these fellows, but uh, go ahead and try to pick apart my discussion. I think you're going to have a hard time doing it, though. <laughs> uh, do you have any theories as to uh, how Superman uh, could possibly, using physical knowledge, uh, be able to not have a bullet penetrate his... Uh... Well, there are uh, uh, there's, there's a few theories out, you know, that uh, one could look at. <laughs> It could be a, uh, a force field of some type. <laughs> That's, uh, that theory holds up pretty well, but it could also be some type of uh, uh, incredibly bullet-resistant clothing that he wears. <laughs> but in fact, repel bullets. <laughs> and a bullet repel, maybe even. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure. That's not really, that's not my place to say, though. I don't think. Um, I don't think that's... Next question, please. You talk about jumping over buildings. Do you know how much energy it would take for um, someone to jump over a building, like say the Empire State Building? How much energy it would take? Roughly um, four or five million joules, probably. <laughs> through my, uh, through my analysis, uh, I would probably say about that much. Okay, I think Next question. Alright, thank you. Hey kids, <laughs> I'm Uncle Physics. <laughs>
mereu din țară Ca să produc plus bani Să am de toate în casă Să nu râd ai mei dușman Eu cum iubesc nevasta Și pe ai mei copii Și când mă țorc acasă De fapt o-aș bucuri Iubim acasă cu drăg La nevasta